Hi guys, welcome back. Um, sorry I haven't done a video for a little while, I've been working on some different projects um, apart from my main Astral Claws army that I'm working on. Uh, also picked up a few bits a little while back now at the Warhammer 40k open day. Um, main one being, as you see in front of you, the uh, Galvorback. So I did the unbagging video a little while ago. Um, since then I've been very very slowly working on these alongside a lot of other things now as well as these um, I also picked up Lorgar so kind of looks like I'm starting a uh, 30k word bearer as army so we'll see how that kind of goes as well the um, the, the uh, company of Astral Claws is nearly done now we're short by 20 tactical marines so once they're finished it'll be fully fledged on the um, on the word bearers but I just thought I'd do a little video today and just show you how I'm getting along with these guys. I've seen now they've actually been released. We've seen a few a few other guys finish these up. Um, a lot of airbrush work that I've been seeing on these. So I've gone in with a bit of a different approach. Now these are all in different stages of, of completeness basically. So I'll show you how what, what sort of I've been working on and things like that so far. So you'll see on these guys if I can just get this to focus in for you. There we go. So the way that I've basically started these off with a, a sort of pre-shade on the red with an airbrush, um, just for the main base colour. Uh, some of the base flesh colour I've put on with an airbrush just so it blends in nicely with the red rather than obviously having a harsh sort of... Um, contrast so it actually looks like the the armor is turning into the into the flesh now sorry about this it's not focusing that great today now everything else that I'm doing on these I'm doing with a brush rather than an airbrush um, just so that I can get sort of more crisp lines on them and things like that than I can with an airbrush now these two guys here I've all I've literally done on these two is the base coats with the with the red with the airbrush and you'll see sort of a very very small amount of, of shading that was done pre-shading with the reds and then just literally just put on black shoulder pads uh, the skin uh, base coat has been done and that's it that's all that's been done on those two now this this guy here at the moment is the one that I'm working on so Obviously started him off, done the reds again, the blacks, the base colours, and just started to work on the the um, sort of purity seals, the cloths and and uh, bone effects. Obviously all that's gone on there is base coat and wash so far. Then I've got this chap over here, which is um, pretty much finished. Now you'll see by the size of these in my hands, they are big models compared to a normal uh, normal marine they're almost the size of a Primark now you'll see on this guy I've gone in and done additional um, so line highlighting and things like that now where all the armor's broken up if I can get that get that in nice and close I've gone in and made it sort of I wanted it to almost look like the armor was as was sort of burning lighting up as it was breaking away off the, off this guy and you'll see it's sort of on this side where it's turning into flesh. So you've sort of got the stages of it breaking up and then flesh on that side. And then obviously you get things like these bones protruding and things like that. Obviously the loin cloths and things hanging down. All these cables that are starting to break out of the armour. And obviously the gun where it's sort of melding into, into the hand as well as sort of, again, bones coming out of this thing. Absolutely fantastic models to paint. The detail on these is unbelievable. Now, obviously the metal work on this one, you can see I've done mostly silver on the metal work on this dude. And he's just waiting for a base at the moment. Now, this guy is, is pretty much finished. I'm just waiting for the water effect on the base there to completely dry. You see at the bottom there, it's still a little bit misty. Um, and for the base I've just gone with a cork, a layer of cork, um, which I've made look like sort of wet muddy effect. Now you can see all the scattered leaves all over it and everything like that. The, the cork, the only reason that I've used that is to just build it up an extra layer because I wanted these guys to be quite tall to stand out amongst the others. 
and obviously if I bring this in I can show you some of the detail that, that has been put into this guy so again all the armour breaking up the flesh sort of turning from, from the armour again you've got things like the um, the guns melded into the hand you've got one normal leg and then one that's almost starting to turn into an animal leg, a demon leg absolutely fantastic models, the, the, like I say the detail on these is unbelievable when I got these like I say got them at the 40k open day so I was one of the first to get these and I opened the pack up and just couldn't believe it I mean even down to if I can get that to focus in you look at things like the eyes the like the lenses have popped out of the helmet and you can see his real his eyes under underneath and and each of the individual teeth on on the mouths because where his face is split and you've got more than one mouth on there as well it's just unbelievable detail really so there's those guys um, now you can see at the moment just waiting for some bases to dry for the rest of these guys now all I've done for the bases is we've used a layer of cork to if I, sorry if I get that to focus for you there we go there we go so we've got just a layer of cork to build up another dimension and then we've just gone in with sand and gravel um, we've thrown in some extra extra little components so things like shoulder pads um, this one's got a bolt that is just in there under a couple of under a couple of slabs of concrete um, we've got things like melter bombs in in the dirt the, there's girders sort of hanging out all, all sorts to, to just sort of give them something else to look at now they'll all be done up in this sort of wet muddy sort of look um, the maybe throw in some more water effects and things like that on them uh, really I'm just doing these guys nice and slowly as a like I say as a side project just want to get them really looking how I want them to look now what I'll do is I'll leave these guys here um, and I'll be right back and I'll show you what we did with Lorgar see you soon right guys now I'll show you what we did with Lorgar now as you can see I've gone with a red Lorgar um, I want to want to have the army when I do start it fully sort of fully fledged I want it to be full of things like Galvor back um, maybe even chuck in some sort of a lot of possessed looking dudes um, where they've started to start to take on the the, the chaos gods um, so a lot of, lot of mutations um, I've got some Ashen Circle on order coming from Forge World at the moment so a load of those guys um, I'm going to have a combination of the reds and the greys but I want it to still be a very um, chaos orientated army it kind of then ties in with the fact that I do have a large chaos army as well so it's kind of the whole progression of loyalist to to um, fully fledged chaos now you see I've gone with the red, the red Lorgar um, did quite a lot of work on this guy, it took me quite a while and you can see all obviously the golds and everything that we've done on there this is all done with um, a paintbrush rather than any airbrushing or anything like that on this model um, all that was literally airbrushed was the base coats um, and you can see we've gone for a purple cloak on this guy um, sorry about the light, it's not great, it makes it look quite blue but it's nice deep purple that one and I've gone for um, a gold mace so just to try and make it look um, not regal but um, like the artifact that it's that it's going to end up being you know we've got bits of sort of the blood on there that we've used the the GW blood for the blood god sort of dripping down the side of the the stones there off the bottom of the uh, bottom of the mace and all the detail on this guy I mean again absolutely lovely model to paint and you can see sort of I tried to go in with sort of the um, tattoos on the head uh, if I can get that light to settle down a bit let me bring that in there we go there we go so you see stuff like the tattoos on there and what I did as well was used a little bit of blue um, little bit of blue glaze just under the eyes just to make this guy look like he's He's tired. He's worn out. He he doesn't know what sort of what's going on anymore. You know, he's he's given over um, to chaos. He's he's just that's it. Basically, the end. I'm tired. I don't sleep anymore. And um, he's gone with the dark gods. 
What I've done as well is you can see on his base, if I just pop him out on the main base here. There we go. If you can see in there, I've made the um, the lines, the the patterns and the, the drawings in the stone, the carvings in the stone. I wanted them to look like they were glowing, as if there was some sort of power that was coming from him and transferring into the into the um, the rock that he's standing on, the shrine that he's standing on. Um, I just tried to get this guy looking exactly what I wanted him to look like, rather than sort of what anyone else sort of said and drew and, and painted and things like that, you know. Um, it was the first Primark I've done, and I've got to admit, absolutely loved painting it. I will most definitely be doing some more of the Primarks. Um, and on this one I didn't do a tutorial on him purely for the fact that I wanted it to be something for myself really um, but no doubt on other ones uh, I'll, I'll do some kind of um, videos on them just maybe little tutorials on what I was doing where and things like that but um, that's it basically guys that's what I've been working on over the past couple of weeks um, also got a load of new stuff for the for the um, for the workstation, so we've got new desk, new paint racks, new new paints come in. Um, I will be doing a review on the new Vallejo um, Game Air range, which I've got on the way at the moment. Ordered a set of those, um, so we'll see how that goes. That'll be the first time I've used Vallejo as well. Uh, mostly just use GW paints, things like um, AK Interactive stuff like that. So haven't actually gone into Vallejo yet so this will be a new one so I'll do a little video once those come in of how they actually um, how they actually work how they compare to GW paints things like that so thanks for watching guys hope you like what I'm doing with these guys um, obviously from the unbagging video I appreciate all your views absolutely uh, love getting your views ping up on uh, on my feeds and just keep liking keep subscribing Tell your friends about the page. Please get them to have a little look. And we'll see you in the next one. Take care, guys. Thank you. Bye now.